Hi there crafters, thanks for joining me on another Craft with Anna adventure. This time I've got a two for one special for you. You'll get to see what happens when I need one tiny little piece of paper to complete a layout and to get that one tiny little piece of paper I have to in fact create a whole another layout. You can see here that I had intended to have my page go a certain direction, but in my creative flurry I just forgot all about that and this is the way my page is going to end up being designed. Um, so I'm going to start with looking at the stickers that came with the page and I really want to use one of these cameras. I could use some stickers to even further embellish the camera face, like maybe put a star over the lens cap or something like that. Now originally I had intended to have this layout flipped. And what I need is this one little strip of paper that's going to go on the left hand side here to match what goes on the right hand side. This is the strip that I ended up cutting. But what I needed to do was figure out how my design for the other page was going to go because you can see on this cut apart sheet, this one little strip of tickets, um, I needed to know which part of the cut apart sheet I could get rid of. So I knew I was going to use that top. I knew I could use the middle part for another layout and then the tickets, eh, I wasn't really feeling them. So that's the perfect side to have on my other little layout. Just needed a little strip and it can go right over here. Just cut a little piece off. And I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners to match the corners that I've already rounded on the right hand side of this layout. Now I'm using a new glue. Um, I'm using a the AdTech glue and it comes with these refills so I've already got one more refill ready to go. I don't have to worry about running out today. One of the things I really like about this glue is that the refills are easy to put in and out. So um, usually I would just kind of eyeball this and that's what I started to do but then I remembered I have this incredibly handy Tim Holtz clear ruler which um, doesn't have it does have numbers on it but I like it because it has a grid on it that makes it really easy for me to use I can just line it up on the paper with the lines that are on the ruler and I love that I don't have to do any math. Now I technically didn't have to round that top corner but one thing that is really nice about having done that is that in the event that this little cluster of tags falls off in the future um, that that little piece will look finished. If you have a manual die cutting machine, you can just get some um, adhesive backed felt from Michaels and run it through your machine up there at home. So that about wraps it up. As promised, here's a look at my completed alternate layout. I love the way the lace doily looks like a tablecloth above the kid's head. You'll see gems sprinkled in my clusters too for added visual interest and texture. Here I layered a lot of little paper strips from that cut apart sheet underneath a photo slide, topped it with a die cut plastic butterfly and a little button body. My title reads, Once Upon a Time There Lived a Beautiful Princess or Two. My handwriting on this sticker didn't turn out exceptionally, but that's okay. I think it's important to include those handwritten touches. And here's another look at that other layout. I love the way it turned out. The colors are so visually interesting. This tag banner is one of my favorite pieces. Not just because it tells the story that I wanted to capture, but the colors and the different uh, patterns mixed up. And I'll flip this horizontal title so you can read it. Thanks again for watching my latest Craft with Anna adventure. Go ahead and subscribe and you'll see all my latest videos show up on your YouTube queue. Check out my blog at www.craftwithanna.blogspot.com.